Well, as we take a look at First Defense Doppler, we have no rain across the area. We're still under the influence of uh, high pressure that's off to our north, but this is the next frontal system that's going to be moving our way. Well, part of it anyway it is going to be moving our way throughout the day tomorrow, and that will trigger off the chance for showers and thunderstorms. So today, no rain across the region. The higher severe weather probabilities are out to our west. But as we go into Friday, that front will be moving our way, and uh, the Storm Prediction Center does have all of the region, and much of the state for that matter, uh, under a standard slight risk for a severe thunderstorm thunderstorms tomorrow. This is a two out of five. And uh, basically what's going to happen is as the front kind of moves our way, the wind will increase throughout the day. So it's going to become windy. We do expect maybe some type of a wind advisory uh, to be issued for tomorrow. But also with afternoon thunderstorm convection, that will obviously increase the winds even more to potentially damaging levels. So here's the first defense and all the information you need to know for tomorrow. The main timing window on this is mainly going to be early evening into the nighttime hour. So 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock tomorrow night is going to be the best time frame for maybe some of the strongest uh, activity. The overall winds, maybe around 60 mile an hour wind gusts and definitely some heavy rain. We'll probably see rain totals in uh, in uh, localized nature upwards of about an inch and maybe some quarter sized hail to go along with that. So in quarter size is actually uh, needed for severe weather. So let's take you through future scan here. So for today, nothing. Uh, if there's going to be a rain shower, it's going to be north of here near Buffalo. Then as we work throughout the day. Tomorrow maybe a scattered rain shower in the morning, but here comes this line of storms that flare ahead of the front. And again, you can see how it's coming in. It's coming in as a line and this is going to have the potential to produce some damaging winds. You can see when you get into the purples and uh, the dark reds, uh, that definitely indicates the heavier amounts of rainfall. This is about 7 o'clock. This is about 10 o'clock. You can see it all hightails out to the east. So probably by the time we go to about 10 uh, tonight uh, or uh, tomorrow night, we still should, uh, all this rain should uh, hightail out uh, to the east and the severe weather threat should calm down. But for today, any clouds we have will break, leading to mostly sunny skies for the afternoon. But the humidity is up with a warm front that's moved through 75 to 81 with a southwest wind averaging around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, uh, we'll have uh, mainly um, pretty much a mostly cloudy skies. The clouds will increase. A uh, isolated rain shower is possible, but muggy, and it becomes windy as well. 61 to 67, look at the wind. South, 14 to 23. Uh, gusts maybe around 30 miles an hour, and the wind ticks up even more uh, for Friday. As we take a look at Friday, 83 degrees. Temperatures are warmer ahead of that front, and then that front plows through here. Take a look at where the front knocks our temperatures for the weekend down into the 60s and then but we do rebound to about where we should be for early next week the first official day of fall is actually saturday at 9:54 at night but the first full day is actually sunday